this is Sherry Roden again. I am back with some of Stillwater's youngest entrepreneurs, the founders of Sewing Kits for Kids. And they have a great story about what they're doing with the money that they're earning. So I'm going to let them tell you a little bit more about their plans. So Karen? With the money that we earn, we're putting some of it back into our business. Some of it goes to me and Susan. But also part of it goes to mission trips that we're saving for. We want to go to Honduras and help some missionaries uh, teach sewing classes. And also in Uganda, we've sent some of our kits uh, to them. And what are they going to do? They've been teaching uh, kids uh, sewing skills in the orphanages in Uganda. And how did people so far away find out about your business? They found out uh, about our business because of a website called Teaching Good Things that Mommy had found. And they had posted an ad about our website on their website. And that's how the people from Uganda found out about our website. Great. We love the internet <laughs> and how it makes the world smaller. Um, another thing that's happened is they've made some great relationships through their business. So Susan's going to talk a little bit about that. Um, the, we've made a lot of good relationships with like with the ladies of the Cimarron Valley Quilters Guild. They've given us lots of supplies for our business. And also with the Payne County Small Business Coordinator, we've gotten to speak at several of the small business meetings and fairs, and it's been a lot of fun. Very good. So it's fun to hear about um, what some of the young people in Stillwater are doing and a great entrepreneurial example for the rest of us to follow. Thanks again for joining us.